What's good, everybody? What's good? As you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat every single coverage in Madden 23 in what I think is the most explosive offense. Gun tight offset tight end out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. I'm going to make this quick because I don't want to talk y'all heads up. I want y'all to get straight into this. I'm going to make this quick. The audibles that you want to have set is Y out HB swing, 01 trap, bench, and PA shot seams. Once again, I want to disclose this. This is how I run this offense. This is what I run. I've been running this for the past few days. This is not my offense, but this is just how I like to run this offense. Like I said, I'm going to be showing y'all every coverage. I'm going to get into man. I'm going to get into cover two, cover three, cover four. But right now, we're going to start at the top. And as you can see, we're going to be going against a basic, basic cover four set. Now, my biggest thing is when I play this game, I always want to make sure that I know who I'm going to, especially at Man 23. I want to know who I want to get the ball to before I even snap the ball. And I always want to at least have two routes on the field. That I can hit. Number one reason that it's hard to pass in this game that people struggle is one, the blitz in Madden 23 is really bad. And the biggest reason is the user. The user. You always want to have a check down. You just want to have another route that you can go to. So for cover four, cover three, and cover two, it's going to be a lot of the same sets that I'm going to be showing y'all. Like right now, we're going to get into Y out, Y out, HB swing. Basically, you can just start it off easy. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I just got Scotty Miller coming across with a drag, and I got my running back, Giovanni Bernard, also going to be doing a drag. That's just an easy check down. I'm a guy that loves to check check. I'm a guy that loves to take check downs. So I think it's the best thing to do in certain situations in this game. For instance, let's say he's playing you very far back. You've been dotting them all game. You've been bombing them all game. He's starting to play you back. Go ahead and take your little drags, man. It's easy. It sets up big plays. Drags set up big plays, man. I'll take a drag any day for five to 10 yards. I will take it. Now, it spicing things up. As you can see, we got Mike Evans on a little out route corner post. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna motion Scotty Miller to the left side just to get him open some more because that left side is gonna be playing a deep half. That deep, I mean, that left side corner is gonna be playing a deep half. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him on a, a go route. And you see Mike Evans is just butt naked. He's butt naked. He, he's butt naked. He's wide open, bro. He's butt naked. Showing y'all again, I'm a motion Scotty Miller out. And like I said, this is against cover four. This also works against cover three. Really good. Boom. Easy. Easy money. Like I said, I want to have at least two routes on the field I can hit. And I'm a guy that loves to take check downs. It's gotten me so far in the match. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag Chris Godwin just for my check down. You know what I mean? Let's say he's using that corner route. I'm going to just take Chris Godwin. You see Chris, I mean, you see Mike Evans was still wide open. So just going to show y'all boys again right here i got chris godwin wide open but i'm gonna hit mike evans for the easy 25 yarder and that's a boom now really i'm not a big runner but of course you know you always want to have a little run play in your little set just to gain some easy yardage you know what i mean right there chris jones just blows up the entire play but we still get at least eight yards on that to me i think oh one trap is the best run play out of this formation as you see right here i'm getting at least five to ten yards every single time i run it if you got a big d tackle in the middle you want to make sure you double team that d tackle just so you can get the best results See right there, Chris Jones gets blocked out the way, and we get another 5 to 10 yarder. All right here, we're going to get into the bench concept of this now. It's pretty much going to be the same thing I just showed y'all in YL HB Swing. Do this against cover 3 and cover 4, like I said. This time, I'm going to go to the right side and show y'all I can do the same thing with my tight end, Kyle Rudolph, who's only like a, what, 80 to 81 speed. Just to show y'all how well it still works. As you can see right here, boom, Kyle Rudolph is wide open. It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful, man. This offense has been deadly. I've been running it for about a day now. It's deadly. I'm going to show y'all again. I'm going to do the same thing I just showed y'all the, the previous play. You want to make sure you get at least two routes open on the field. You know what I mean? Right here, I can either put Scotty Miller drag or boom, I can do a double drag. So if he's got something over there on the right side, I can take a drag. And you see right there, Kyle Rudolph is still wide open. So you want to mix in different things. You want to be very versatile with this offense. You don't want to keep running the same set because once you start playing against comp, they're going to start getting hits that you're doing the same exact plays over and over and over again. So you want to be very versatile when you're running this offense. Like I said, we are going against cover four. PA shot seems is the last play to get into against cover four. But honestly, we're not even going to get into that because I honestly feel like running PA shot seems against cover four is not the smartest thing to do. It's not really many things you can do unless you hop route out of this cover four is really the perfect coverage against pa shot scenes because of the way zones play now i mean literally everything on the field is pretty much locked up you used to be able to hit the wire route that's boxed up that top safety gonna be playing that seam route with a tight end and the right side is completely boxed everything is boxed against cover four when it comes to running pa shot scenes any other coverage pa shot seems cover three cover two cover one blitz is perfect now right here as you can see we got a basic cover three on the field we're gonna get into cover three i'm pretty much gonna be showing y'all the exact same thing i just showed y'all with cover four you can either hit these double drag routes for an easy check down it's beautiful if you ask me like i said you either got you got either route wide open right there bernard runs an awful route he's a pretty low rated over
overall running back but as you see we still end up getting three to five yards and like i said it's pretty much the same adjustments that i made before right here i can put scotty miller on a little go route just to free up that uh cornerback get mike evans wide open he's butt naked once again easy 20 yarder easy 20 yarder now like i said you want to have at least two routes on the field that you want to get the ball so you want to have at least two routes so right here it's kind of different against cover three because right here last time y'all saw me put chris godwin on a little drag route against cover four but this is against cover three that middle third safety is going to play that a little bit different just because that left side has so much going on so if you have the right timing you can get this ball to that post route every single time I mean, you just got to time it the correct way it's there every single time against a basic cover three pretty much you know what i'm saying this pick and choose a lot of times i put them on a drag route a lot of times i put them on a post route it's gonna be there every single time you just have to time it the correct way you know you got to throw it as soon as he's about to break right in front of that safety's face same thing i just showed y'all with cover four you got a basic oh one trap you can run you know like i said you always want to have a solid little run playing your little arsenal that's that's a beautiful run to me eight to ten yard run that's a beautiful run to me i just want to mix things up you know you don't want to keep showing pass every single play especially in high level games right here we ended up breaking this ball off for about 15 yards right there and getting into the bench concept like i said right here you want to be creative man you want to be very very creative when you run this offense i'm not telling y'all to run this offense the exact way i'm showing you you want to account for what your opponent is doing the tendencies your opponent is showing and you want to just be creative man so getting into the bench concept that is against cover three is pretty much the same thing i just showed y'all before motion out scotty miller you're gonna have mike evans pretty much every single time on this boom 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 same thing for the right side i can motion chris guy went out but like i said you don't want to keep doing the same thing you know what i'm saying oh put that drag route in there you know what i mean if you see he's in zone and he's dropping he's not sending a lot of heat put giovanni bernard on a little in route put your running back on the in route just be mindful mix things up i got rudolph wide open and i also got scotty miller open for an easy little check down it's there every single time what i mean by be creative but i mean do things like this you know what i mean if i keep running the same thing he's gonna eventually catch on so i gotta I got Chris Godwin on a flat route. That's going to open up Giovanni Bernard. I got Kyle Rudolph on a 10-yard in route. That's going to free up that safety in that nickel cornerback. And look on the left side. I'm going to have Mike Evans wide open. But right here, I'm going to try to hit the running back. The running back is wide open. Easy little game easy little game i threw that kind of late but it's an easy little game i see zone and i'm running bench this is usually the first thing i go to right here whichever one that nickel cornerback chooses right here he chose the uh in route i mean the uh out route i hit the running back easily now getting into ph shot seams against cover three is actually a beautiful thing to run now right here on the left side look at mike evans if mike evans was a little bit faster he's only a 90 speed if i had scotty miller right there or maybe just a tyreek hill jalen waddle deeper i could just put x on an easy little go route but that is going to do right here is give mike evans a beautiful step beautiful step beautiful step he's usually going to get behind that every single time now especially if they press i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it while they pressing this time if i was faster i'm only a 90 speed i can get that off every single time every single time so be mindful that whenever you see somebody pressing man you can get that off every single time and this is just 90 speed mike evans imagine imagine what i could do with somebody else bro imagine imagine the main read right here though is gonna be kyle rudolph your tight end that's just the perfect read right here right up the middle beautiful read beautiful read such a beautiful read such a beautiful read now me motion over chris godwin is really not needed i can hit it either way but it's just a habit i develop and i'm gonna show y'all this again man i can just put scotty Mill on the drag put giovanni bernard on the drag motion over chris godwin i can take the easy check down or i can hit the seam route easy check down right there now getting into a basic cover two basic cover two this is deadly because the thing about cover two the cloud flats this year as you see right side corners on a cloud flat the left side corners on a cloud flat the cloud flats are really really not good this year they're really bad everything i just showed y'all in cover three and cover four can be ran the exact same way with a few minor adjustments just because more stuff is going to be open against an easy cover two even if i was to run a double drag with bernard and scotty miller the middle of the field is always going to be open if there's no middle third. And you see right here, Chris Godwin is open every single time. And I kind of rushed that ball a little bit. So we're going to run it again without a rush. He's right there. Boom. Every single time. Same thing applies. I can motion over Scotty Miller. Mike Evans is going to be wide open again. See, Mike, he's even more open than ever. He's even more open than last time because it's a cover two. And the cloud flats this year are really really bad don't really need to show y'all one trap because like i said you always want to have just a basic run in there right there i think it's one of the best runs out of shotgun and tight offset right here in bench you really don't have to motion out i would usually since i didn't motion over the right side i can motion over the left side and i would usually take scotty miller 
Motion to the left side just to give him more space on that drag route. I got Kyle Rudolph open. Easy dot every single time. And I saw Scotty Miller. He had a lot more room in that drag route. When I motioned him, he could have got 10 yards off of that easy check down. On y'all again. And this can be on either side. Kyle Rudolph is going to be wide open right here. I'm going to just take Scotty. Easy 10 yard gain. Easy 10 yard gain. Running PA shot seams against cover two. If you spot cover two and you run in PA shot seams, you have a bucket. You have a bucket every single time. Right here, this right side, this mini wheel route by Chris Godwin. That's why I say it beats every single concept and it's so freaking versatile and explosive. I can motion Chris Godwin over. That cloud flat is cooked. I'm going to have Kyle Rudolph and Chris Godwin wide open right here. Wait for him to clear that cloud. Boom. We got an easy touchdown. Easy to okay, that's not a touchdown, but we got an easy gain of 35 yards, man. I would take that any day. Of course, right here, what I would do is I would usually put Scotty Miller on a little drag route just so I can have a check down. See, Chris Godwin gonna clear, but we're gonna wait. We got Kyle Rudolph wide open up the seams. Wide open up the seams, man. It's so beautiful. Same thing on the left side. If I put Scotty Miller on a go route, Mike Evans is gonna be more open than before. He's gonna be even more open than before against a basic cover, too wide open the cloud flats don't do anything i feel like they need to patch that really quickly the cloud flats on this game are really really bad now let's get into what everybody's been waiting for man what everybody has been struggling against is a basic loop defense all right here we're gonna show the nickel 3-3 blitz and in my opinion tight slots is the best offense for it hands down right here you can see we're gonna run a basic loop defense this is it right here this is it right here if i ran y out hb swing in a basic set like i just showed y'all before i'm gonna put i can either block my running back because i know the bliss is coming or i can put bernard on an easy little in route everything is pretty much going to be open especially mike evans especially mike evans he's going to be there every single time it's kind of like the same corner post that i was showing y'all in trips tight end with pa slot corner the corner posts are really really deadly in this game and even if he was depressed the best thing about this coverage is you cannot press the two inside receivers in, in tight slots on this game for whatever reason against man to man you got to be really really creative bro we're gonna run another basic loop and right here i can run an easy double slant easy double slant because we can't get pressed so we have we have more, oh my god he dropped that but we have more time than usual with the easy double slant because they cannot get pressed double slant and we can hit either or we can hit either or man go ahead and go <laughs> go ahead and go get the tutty kyle go get the tutty kyle now bench against man it's pretty solid if you ask me it's not the best but it's pretty solid because you can either throw it to either single you can throw it to either y or a you got to pick and choose whichever one you hit whichever one you want to hit whichever one is going to be open right here mike evans was wide open and i got six people coming at me every single play a lot of people haven't been running the same loop you know what i'm saying like people not sending six every single play so we're gonna put willie gay curl and we're gonna put Vendell Carter on a deep third. That's something people like to do a lot. Right here, we're just going to look and see. Mike Evans is the one that's open. Boom. So, like I said, bench is not the best play to run against this. But like I said, you really want to mix things up. So, if I'm running bench against a stock man covered, what I would do is I would motion Chris Godwin out to try to get some room on a little drag route. Right here, he doesn't really get that open. But we're still able to get a couple yards. We get four to five yards. And like I said, I'm a guy that loves to take what I can get. Get into the PA shot seams. Um, pretty much can just leave it stock. You can do a quick little RB in route. If I was to hit RB, he's wide open for the easy check. Easy check, easy check. Turns into more yards sometimes. And usually nine times out of ten. Also, Mike Evans is pretty much going to cook whoever is guarding him in this corner post route. As you can see right here. Mike Evans is wide open again. Easy completion. Easy completion. Now, it's not really much more for me to show y'all. The biggest thing I want to say is you have to be creative and you have to think when you're playing this game. I showed y'all a lot of things. That don't mean just copy it play by play, play by play. No. This is an excellent offense, but you have to know how to run it and when to run certain things, when to throw certain things, and when to call certain plays. So if you spot cover one, you spot cover two, you spot cover three, you spot cover four, a blitz. There's an answer for everything in this offense. That's going to wrap it up, man. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that sub button. I may bring an in-game tutorial on this offense and show y'all how I run it against real people. First thing I need y'all to do is kill that like button for me and hit that sub button. I'm going to catch y'all boys, man.